Hello, my name is William Ernest Powell Giles. I was born to William Giles and Elizabeth Nee Powell. You can see the only name I did not get from my mum and dad was Ernest. So that is why I am Ernest Giles. After I died in 1897, I was born in 1835, I went on a time machine, time machine and found myself here because this, my friends, is my story. They said I was Australia's last explorer, and I think I was. We had three expeditions, so I discovered Australia did not stand a chance. First things first, I was born on 20th of July, 1835, and I was raised at Christ Hospital. When I was 15, I left to see my dad in Adelaide. In 1852, I left for Melbourne to try and get some gold, but I failed and then became poor. Then I got a job as a post office clerk. Annoyed by the town left, I left for the country. I became a bushman. I was ready for an Australian expedition. These are my friends Samuel Carmichael and Alec Robinson. I took them on my first expedition. We were trying to find an overland telegraph line. Well, we started making our way and made it to Charlotte Waters. But then we found out many more people were tr coming to find a way to the west coast. On January the on January the 1st, Giles went back and we left. Giles went back and we left. Goodbye. 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 Right now, I thought it was going to... Right now, I thought it was time to go and make a second expedition. I met a man named Alfred Gibson. These are my friend, William Teachins, Jimmy Andrews and Alfred Gibson. We left from Alberga on 4th of August, 1873. We then reached Mount Olga on the 14th of September, 1873. We were the first Europeans to find it and named it Mount Olga after Queen Olga. <laughs> oh yes, it was an absolute pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> we also suffered from attacks from the Aborigines and suffered from hunger, thirst and ants and other bugs and insects. So, the trip was a fail. We did not reach the west coast, so there was no government award. When Gibson, when Gibson dies, I was finally found by Tidkins. After a bit of time, I did some surveying work with Thomas Alder. And it was a pleasure working with you, sir. Yes, I thank you for giving me the stuff for the expedition. So, who was on the expedition then? William H. Teakins, J. J. Young, yeah. <laughs> A. Ross, Peter Nichols, Salah, and that's all. Dad, it's, it's you, Dad. We made. Hello, Jay Young. Your line's next, I believe. <laughs> oh, down via Gibson Desert. Yeah, we return the camels. We return the camels. Camels. Come on, camels. <laughs> We made our way to Adelaide, and that was that. I then went up and explored the Everett Ranges in 1882. In 1889, I published a famous book called Australia Tries to Rest. I then went to look for gold. I found it, but then died of pneumonia. Ernest Giles then died. But wait, I'm meant to be dead. Uh... <laughs> he was meant to be Australia's last explorer. And it was fun! I'll tell you a bit of detail about what happened at the end. Go and write a book, Ernest! Yeah, called Australia Twice Traversed. Can't do it, Ernest. Okay, sure. Why not? It's Golden WA! You'll never find me! Really? Yep. That sucks. I know!
I found you after all. Ha! Huh? Hello? <coughs> Why, hello? In 1889, I published a famous book called Australia Twice Traversed. <gasps> oh, damn, I forgot to read that bit. Right, get back to there. Action. Write a book, Ernest, called Australia Twice Traversed. Go do it, Ernest. Okay. Oh. We're rolling. Let's take four, I think. Action. Ernest, that'll be great. Called Australia twice traversed. Go and do it, Ernest. Okay, sure, why not? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, it was an absolute pleasure. <laughs> then Alfred died. Then Alfred died. <laughs> and suffered from hunger <coughs> and ants and other bugs. <laughs> okay, cut. <laughs> cut.